On the 4th of March, 1857, the new president, James Buchanan, promised the nation that the U.S. Supreme Court would at last settle the question of slavery in the United States, where it could go and where it could not. Dred Scott, a slave from Missouri, has sued for his freedom on the grounds that his master had once taken him to free northern soil. In his opinion for the court, Chief Justice Roger B. Taney resolved to decide African-American destiny once and for all. Dred Scott was not a citizen of Missouri and not entitled as such to sue in its courts. We think they were not intended to be included under the word citizens in the Constitution and can therefore claim none of the rights and privileges. They were considered as a subordinate and inferior class of beings, subjugated by the dominant race and altogether unfit to associate with the white race. It is obvious they were not even in the minds of the framers of the Constitution when they were conferring special rights upon the citizens. Mr. Chief Justice Roger B. Tawney for the United States Supreme Court, 1857. No black person could be a citizen of the United States, said Tawney. This is a country, the family of America, as he called it, was white. And the South had a perfect right, he said, under the Constitution to expand slavery into all the territories of the United States. In other words, Tarnas said that slavery existed wherever the owner wanted to take his slave. And then he made that very famous statement that, that a black man has no rights uh, that a white man has to respect. <laughs> 